So here, again, we're doing that power rule. Do you want to square that first or do you want to get rid of the negative exponent first? It doesn't really matter. Which do you prefer to do? Square it first? Okay, so if we square everything, negative 3 squared is 9. W to the 4th squared is W to the 8th. And X to the negative 2 squared would be X to the negative 4. And we've got to get rid of that negative exponent, so we'll flip that down to the bottom. So 9W to the 8th over X to the positive 4 will be my answer. Now the next two have negative exponents on the outside. When you have that negative exponent with the coefficient, it's a little bit trickier. But it, it, do you want to get rid of the negative exponent first or do we just want to raise it to the negative 2 power? Raise it to the negative 2. So if I do 4 to the negative 2 power, what is 4 to the negative 2 power? One over four squared, which is one sixteenth, right? So one sixteenth. <laughs> if I do a to the negative six power raised to the negative two, I would get a to the twelfth. That's going to be on top because it has a positive exponent. If I have b to the fifth raised to the negative two power, I get b to the negative tenth, which means it's going to end up instead of being on top down on the bottom. Of course, they know you really don't need the 1. So a to the 12th over 16, b to the 10th is how that's end up going to be. It gets a little trickier when you have that fraction and trying to figure out where everything is going to end up. So just for fun, if I would get rid of all the negatives first, instead of trying to think of, oh gosh darn it, is it going to be on the top or the bottom? First I would start in here and say, okay, if I get rid of this negative, it's going to move that up to the top. So I'm going to have negative 2w squared x to the fifth raised to the negative fourth power. That makes it a little less confusing because I don't have a fraction anymore. On this one, you may still end up with a fraction. If I were going to get rid of that negative on the outside, I'd then do the reciprocal. 1 over negative 2w squared x to the fifth to the positive fourth power. So I've gotten rid of all the negative exponents, and so then I don't have to figure out while I'm working, is it going to end up on the top or the bottom? So 1 to the fourth power, still 1. Negative 2 to the fourth power is positive 16. w squared raised to the fourth power w to the eighth, and x to the fifth raised to the fourth power. And so I end up with 1 over 16 w to the eighth, x to the twenty. So if you are having a hard time with all the negatives and where is it going to end up, my suggestion is get rid of the negative exponents first, then go ahead and worry about doing your exponent. Hopefully everything ends up in the right spot.